Before starting any new task, it's essential to learn the basics, which holds for beginners entering the stock market as well. So, be sure to watch until the end of this video because today, we've decided to help you understand what a stock market is and how it basically works so that the thought of investing seems less overwhelming. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the NAV Millionaires Club. Here you'll find promising millionaires determined to learn more about financial markets and business spaces. If you happen to be new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button, so you don't miss out on a single video. Now, let's get right into it. How does the stock market work? What are stocks? Let's break it down and start with the basics. Equities, which are usually referred to as stocks, are securities that represent partial ownership of a publicly traded company. So, when you purchase stocks in a company, it means that you own a part of that company. The unit of stock is called a share, and the more shares you purchase, the more stock you own in a company. Companies issue stocks to raise money to develop their business. There are basically two different kinds of stocks, common stocks and preferred stocks. The key difference between the two is that common stocks actually give shareholders the right to vote on business matters and also participate in the growing earnings of the business, while preferred stocks don't. Preferred shares might come with a higher fixed dividend payout. What is a stock market? An easy way to understand the stock market is to look at it as a network of stock exchanges where investors and traders purchase and sell shares of publicly traded companies. Private businesses and companies list shares of their stocks on exchanges through a process known as Initial Public Offering IPO. These shares are bought by investors, enabling the company to raise funds from the general public to develop its business. When the company is listed on a stock exchange, it's then a public company, and investors could buy and sell the shares of the company on an exchange that tracks the stock price. The supply and demand determines the price for each security at which traders and investors are willing to buy or sell. What is a stock exchange? The stock exchange is an organization for investors to purchase and sell company shares or stock. In essence, it promotes stock trading through tools, services, and systems. The two biggest exchanges in the world right now are the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. They are both worth about $21 trillion in all of their shares, and both are located in New York City, the NYSE on Wall Street and the NASDAQ in Times Square. How does the stock market work? To better understand how this market works, it helps to know that there are basically two types of markets, the primary and the secondary market. The primary market is where securities are generated, and a company lists its shares through an initial public offering IPO. Remember, an IPO is when a business or company first lists its shares publicly. The secondary market, which is the stock exchange, is where the supply and demand of these shares are bought, sold, and traded every day. There are two primary types of investing strategies when it comes to trading shares on a stock exchange. As the name suggests, day trading is purchasing and selling the same shares in a single day, with trades sometimes lasting only a few minutes or even a few seconds. The goal is to profit from small price fluctuations. Then, there are longer-term trades or investments where buyers hold the shares for longer periods to benefit from the company's long-term growth and earnings. The stock market has two main purposes. First, it assists businesses in getting funds from the general public, often referred to as capital, by selling shares that can be used to fund and grow their businesses. Secondly, it offers the investor who buys those shares a chance to participate in the company's profits. Investors can benefit from owning stocks in one of two ways. Some stocks offer a return on the amount of money invested in the shares through regular dividend payments, a certain amount per share. Alternatively, a return could also be earned through capital growth which is when the stock price increases. So, that's basically it. If you enjoyed today's content and found it helpful, make sure to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons for more crypto news and updates. And now, tell us, which one do you think is better, the stock market or the crypto market? Let us know your opinions, experiences, and arguments in the comments section below.